Hi everyone and welcome to our English acquiring channel uh, which aims uh, acquire which aims to acquire English both accurately and fluently. Okay, in the previous video we try to uh, improve our English speaking on the topic on the first part of the topic crime and crime prevention now in this uh, in this video we are going to uh, we are gonna go on uh, trying again to speak english on the same topic of course crime is really a complex uh, complex topic as you know but our purpose is just to try to uh, speak a little bit about it Okay, so let me share uh, our presentation and uh, start our discussion. Yes, let's have a conversation uh, on uh, on topic on the topic of crime and crime prevention. Okay, here this is the first page, as you see, and crime and crime prevention. Two, part two. Yes, uh, of course, uh, we cannot uh, neglect, uh, we cannot ignore the tips and tricks uh, about uh, preventing crime, of course, as, uh, as it is uh, in all fields. This field also, uh, also uh, needs to have its needs to have its uh, expert yes so there of course this field also has uh, its expert for example there is an expert uh, called uh, what was why should we invite it prevention prevention crime prevention officer yeah there are experts uh, working on this field okay uh, dialogue one our house may have some weak points that we cannot recognize because we are not, uh, it is impossible for us to be an expert in every field. So every field has its own expert. Okay. Why should we invite a crime prevention officer? Yes. To do what? Uh, to solve what? Yes, so we should invite we should consult a crime prevention officer to receive advice. Yes, to receive some tips. So for a proactive and valuable step with respect to home security. Yes, home security counts. Uh, why? To deter potential criminals so, and to access to, access, to reach, uh, to have peace of mind. Yes, in fact, everybody needs uh, that peace of mind and that harmony in the nature as ecological balance. And in, even in our body, we need uh, the balance, uh, the balance of hemostatic uh, harmony. Yes. Okay, uh, as you know, uh, we read the uh, first and second parts of uh, ChatGBT's uh, advice. And uh, this is the uh, third part. This is the per third part of uh, ChatGBT's contribution as a dialogue here and as a summary at the end of the, at the end of the uh, presentation. Okay, Serdar says, for example, a court reporter records and this, uh, transcribes everything said during a trial to form an official record. So what does a record reporter do? A record reporter records and transcribes everything said during a trial to form an official record. Brenda, the court administers, uh, administers justice, but the court administers justice, yeah. This is a fact. The court administers, distributes, uh, distributes uh, 
justice. But is justice an ideal or a reality for all people? Nicole, justice is an ideal that we strive for, but it may not always be a reality for everyone due to various different factors. Serdar, law, justice, education, and human qualities are important for a safe society. How can we integrate these, these into our lives? Of course, it requires a lot of uh, tactics, strategies, methods, ways, and qualities. For example, we should uh, we should spend time. We should uh, we should be sincere, and uh, we should uh, try sincerely. Frank, we can integrate these by promoting ethical values, by fostering education, and developing our human qualities gradually. Nicole, public needs guidance to solve problems. Yes, because they are not experts. They need experts. All the fields of our life. Yes, public needs guidance to solve problems. Who should guide them? They should be guided by experts, academicians, professors the specialists uh, by those people who have been specialized in those specific areas. Uh, community leaders and those who can provide valuable advice and solutions. Serda, better locks and improved street lighting are objective ways to prevent crime. Of course, there are many other objective methods to prevent crime. Yes, we will see. <laughs> we will go on uh, talking uh, or studying uh, this uh, dialogue at the end of our presentation. Okay, as the second page of the presentation, uh, the image says community engagement, crime prevention officer. Yes, the crime prevention officer says that, yes. The crime prevention officer says that, advises that if your house signals that, if your house gives the signal of this, okay, if your house signals that you are not at home, you invite burglars to rob your house. Are you at risk or safe when you leave signs of absence? Of course, you are at risk. If you leave uh, signs of absence. Okay, let's see what kind of signs they can be. If you leave, for example, as a concrete, as a concrete uh, example, if you leave empty boxes outside of your house, you draw attention of burglars to any new things you bought recently. It's very clear. So they are uh, kinda, they are kinda invitation for them. What else means giving burglars a green light? Yes. Leaving newspapers and letters sticking out of the letter box means giving burglars a green light. What else means giving burglars a green light? Yes. Leaving full milk bottles. Uh, also means giving burglars a green light or also means inviting also means inviting them to your house okay there are some nosy uh, neighbors who usually videotape around may it be a way to stop burglars yes i think uh, by uh, by knowing or uh, without knowing, uh, it may also uh, deter. Yeah, it, it it may also uh, it may also deter the potential uh, potential uh, criminals. Yes, they it may also stop. It may also prevent them from doing that negative action. 
how to defend yourself against burglars again. Uh, let's take a look at the images. Alarm install, alarm door, do not open, etc., etc. We should always lock uh, up the doors at uh, nights to avoid burglary. Yes, it is really serious. We should really take it seriously. What other precautions should we take? We should also uh, we should also uh, fix an alarm, for example, to prevent uh, to prevent crime. An arsonist who sets fire to property should be punished by a long jail sentence. Should a mugger be given a community service or a long prison sentence? In my opinion, a mugger uh, should also be given a long prison sentence. It is not a way of uh, earning money by harming, by bothering, by Yes, uh, by giving harm to the other people. Behaving violently in a football stadium is an offense. Yes, what is another offense? Littering a public place, making a noise at night. Yes, uh, being uh, on a bus without a ticket. These are all potential crimes. They are offenses. Uh, Writing rude things on the walls, causing toxic waste uh, pollution, uh, stealing, murdering. Yes, we can produce lots of uh, sentences. Yes. So, for example, let's take the last one. Uh, murdering. Uh, murdering is an offense. Yes. So this is kind of a uh, motto. No offense, I'm sorry, but you behaved violently, Tom. Okay, the image says, I don't blame you for leaving me. I blame myself for not being good enough towards you. How to catch a black mayor? A shoplifter should be sent to prison. Should a blackmailer be sent to prison or be fined some amount of money? Again, in my opinion, a blackmailer uh, should also be sent to prison. Okay, how to burglar proof? A nice word, yeah, bur burglar proof. Yes, that will stop, uh, that will prevent a burglar. Burglar proof a house, burglar proof homes. Just like saying waterproof. Okay, no water can enter this tool. Okay, as you know. Citizens of responsibility, responsible citizens, make their homes burglar proof by always looking up. How else do citizens make their homes burglar proof? Of course, they can also make their homes burglar proof by installing an alarm system. Okay, down to earth approaches matter. Yes, so uh, in order to have a down to earth approach, each of us, every single person should be a down to earth individual. Yes, Dr. Selim Jan Al Koch, a down to earth person. Yes, they say that uh, Dr. Selim Bey is a down to earth person. It means that it has down-to-earth approaches. Yes, if somebody is not prone to committing crime, neither unemployment, nor lack of security, nor boredom, nor rich and poor divide can tempt them to commit a crime. Yes, so those negative situations cannot uh, make them want, make them want to commit a crime. When do these difficult situations or conditions, circumstances tempt someone to commit a crime? Yes, if those, if some people have already have a tendency, a potential uh, to commit a crime, so uh, during uh, when they or when they are in that kind of situation, uh, they can uh, make use of 
them to commit a crime. An illegal behavior can be detected by closed circuit television cameras. Do you accept the idea that they deter, they stop, they prevent, they block ill-intentioned people from committing their actions? Yes, I accept the, the, that idea. That they uh, they deter, they deter uh, intentional, ill-intentional people from committing their actions. So the image says, smile, you are on our CCTV security cameras. Okay, benefits of installing uh, CCTV uh, 4K, CCTV camera for smart city monitoring. Yes, those cameras uh, or MOBESA uh, means mobile electronic system integration. Do you agree that MOBESA cameras deter crime? Yes, I agree that they deter, they discourage crime, committing crime. Surveillance might make everybody feel that they are potential criminals. Which one is more important than the other? Personal privacy or public safety? Of course, both of them are uh, important. Uh, each of them is more important than the other. But I think personal privacy comes first. And uh, then uh, public uh, safety also matters, yes. Because we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, provide, uh, we cannot uh, provide public safety by uh, by violating the personal privacy. It's it it may be another crime. Yeah. Okay. Instill to cause a quality. Uh, yes, instill means to cause a quality to become part of someone's nature gradually. Yes step by step. Parents usually try to instill a sense of duty in their children beforehand. What else do parents try to instill into their children? Of course, all the parents try to want to instill all the good human good qualities uh, and values to their children. Who else aims to instill good manners into children? Of course, teachers. Uh, teachers uh, also uh, aim to instill good manners into children. Would you like to instill self-control, industriousness? Sorry, I would like to. I'd like to instill self-control, industrious, industriousness, reliance, and courtesy into my children in the first place. Which or what four qualities would you like to instill in your children in the first place? Yes. I'd like to instill uh, resilience, uh, diplomacy, uh, diligence, and understanding into my children in the first place. Yes, four skills that come before first words. Yes, before uh, before babies uh, before babies say their first words. They have to have those uh, those four skills. Okay. So education starts uh, uh, from cradle. Okay. Climate change volunteering. Parents had better let their children choose moral values willingly. Why shouldn't they impose? Why shouldn't they impose those qualities on their children? Because Imposing is not a way, is not a way <clears throat> of achieving something. Because it's a matter of, uh, it's a matter of uh, doing something, having something, being something willingly. It's a matter of free will. So every single individual, even the children, uh, should choose those beautiful, true, and right standards uh, by using their free will, willingly, eagerly, voluntarily. 
Now, this is again the fourth part uh, by ChatGPT. The fourth part of the dialogue uh, generated by, uh, written by ChatGPT. Okay, Frank. Other objective, objective methods may also include not keeping cash at home, not informing someone when you are away, avoiding dangerous areas, carrying an alarm, and being vigilant. Yes, being watchful also matters. A kidnapper takes a person by force for random. Who damages other people's property on purpose? Of course, a vandal is someone who intentionally damages other people's property. What kind of criminal attacks people in the street to steal something? Who does that? A mugger is a criminal who does that, often using force or threats to steal from, uh, from people in public places. Leaving an open window is an invitation to burglars. What else can attract burglars? Would you want to invite a burglar into your home? Why? Brenda, leaving a light on can deter burglars, making them believe you are not absent. It's better to prevent burglars from entering your home for safety reasons. No one wants to invite a burglar. Personal safety should always be a priority. Okay, okay this is all for today. And I am happy uh, to have uh, to have shared uh, that kind of speaking practice with you. So bye for now, and see you next time.